Hello guys welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video we are going to learn about mostly asked top 50 coding interview questions from beginner to advanced level. So without wasting any time let's get started with our first question. Question 1. What is Kotlin? Answer Kotlin is a statically typed programming language developed by a software development company named JetBrains. It was first introduced in 2011 and officially released in 2016. Kotlin is designed to be fully interoperable with Java, meaning that it can seamlessly integrate with existing Java code and libraries. Question 2. How is Kotlin interoperable with Java? Answer. Kotlin is interoperable with Java programming language. Because just like Java compiler similarly Kotlin compiler will generate byte code. Which can run on Java virtual machine makes Kotlin interoperability with Java. With this feature we will be able to call functions and any properties from Kotlin in Java files and similarly Java in Kotlin files. Question 3. What are some benefits of Kotlin over Java? Answer. 1. Null safety is a core feature in Kotlin, where types are non-nullable by default, and nullable types are explicitly marked. 2. Kotlin has a more concise syntax, reducing boilerplate code and making code more readable. 3. Kotlin allows the creation of extension functions, enabling developers to add new functions to existing classes without modifying their source code. 4. Kotlin provides data classes that automatically generate common methods like toString, equals, and hash code. 5. Kotlin has built-in support for coroutines, facilitating asynchronous and non-blocking programming in a more sequential and readable manner. 6. Kotlin supports functional programming paradigms with features like higher-order functions, lambda expressions, and immutability. Question 4. What is a nullable type in Kotlin? Answer. In Kotlin, a nullable type is a type that explicitly allows the presence of null values. By default, in Kotlin, variables cannot hold null values unless their type is explicitly marked as nullable. To denote a nullable type in Kotlin, you append a question mark symbol to the type declaration. As you can see in the given example we have defined a variable named nullable string as a string variable which can be null by appending the question mark symbol at the end of the string keyword. Question 5. What is the Elvis operator in Kotlin? Answer. The Elvis operator is a shorthand notation in Kotlin that provides a concise way to handle nullable expressions or values. It is particularly useful for dealing with situations where you want to provide a default value in case a nullable expression is null. The syntax of the Elvis operator is as follows. In this example if the nullable value is null that the default value will be passed to result variable. Question 6. What is a data class in Kotlin? Answer. A data class in Kotlin is a concise way to declare a class whose primary purpose is to hold data. Data classes automatically generate several standard methods, such as to string, equals, hash code, and copy, based on the properties defined in the class. This feature reduces boilerplate code and makes it easy to create classes that are primarily used for data storage and manipulation. Question 7. What is the purpose of the latinic keyword in Kotlin? Answer. The latinic keyword in Kotlin is used to declare a non-null variable that will be initialized at a later point in the code. It stands for late initialization. This keyword is particularly useful when you know that a variable will be initialized before it is accessed. And you want to avoid the need for initializing it immediately when declaring it. Question 8. Explain the differences between val and var in Kotlin. Answer. The val keyword is used to declare read-only, immutable variables. Once assigned a value, a val variable cannot be reassigned to a different value. It behaves like a constant or a final variable in other programming languages. Val is suitable when you want a variable whose value remains constant throughout its lifetime. As in the given example the pi variable defined with val keyword is immutable and we will get a compilation error if we try to modify its value. On the other hand the count variable defined with var keyword can be reassigned with new value. Question 9. 
What is sealed classes in Kotlin? Answer. Sealed class is a special kind of class that restricts the inheritance of its subclasses. It means that all the subclasses of a sealed class must be defined within the same file where the sealed class is declared. In some sense, sealed classes in Kotlin share similarities with enum classes because both constructs represent a restricted set of possible values or states. Question 10. Discuss Kotlin's approach to sealed interfaces. Answer. Like sealed classes, sealed interfaces provide a way to define a closed hierarchy of types, where all the possible subtypes are known at compile time. To create a sealed interface in Kotlin, you can use the sealed modifier before the interface keyword. Question 11. Describe the usage of the with function in Kotlin. Answer. In Kotlin, the with function is used to execute a block of code within the context of an object. It allows you to perform multiple operations on the properties or methods of an object without repeating the object's name for each operation within the block. As in the given example we have called with function in the context of person object and inside it we can access and modify the all properties of person object. Question 12. What is an extension function in Kotlin? Answer. An extension function in Kotlin is a feature that allows you to add new functions to existing classes without modifying their source code. For example, we can extend the string class to implement a new function named custom print which can be directly called on any string object to print the custom message. Question 13. How does Kotlin handle default arguments in function params? Answer. In Kotlin, default arguments in function parameters allow you to specify default values for parameters in the function declaration. When calling a function, you can omit arguments with default values, and the compiler uses the specified defaults. This simplifies function calls and enhances code readability. Question 14. Explain the difference between double equals and tuple equals in Kotlin. Answer. The double equals operator checks for structural equality, meaning it compares the content or values of objects, not their references. The tuple equals operator checks for referential equality, meaning it compares the memory addresses or references of objects. As in the given example the value of x double equals y is true because the content of x and y are same. But the value of x triple equals y is false because x and y are different objects. Question 15. What is the purpose of the init block in Kotlin? Answer. Init block is a special type of initialization block that is part of a class or object declaration. It is used to initialize the properties or perform additional initialization logic when an instance of the class or an object is created. It is executed automatically during the object's initialization phase, right after the primary constructor is called. Question 16. What is the purpose of the by lazy delegate in Kotlin? Answer. The by lazy delegate in Kotlin is used for deferred initialization of properties. It allows you to delay the computation and assignment of a property until it is accessed in the code. This is useful when the initialization is resource intensive or depends on certain conditions, as it ensures that the initialization is only performed when the property is actually needed. Question 17. Is by lazy delegate thread safe in Kotlin? Answer. Yes, the by lazy delegate in Kotlin is thread safe by default. It ensures that the initialization block provided to by lazy is executed only once, even in a multi-threaded environment. The default thread safety mode is lazy thread safety mode dot synchronized, but if you want the property to be only accessed from a single thread, you can use lazy thread safety mode dot none. Question 18. Can we use by lazy block to define singleton property? Answer. Yes, the by lazy delegate is commonly used to implement a lazy initialized singleton property in Kotlin. By combining the by lazy delegate with a top level property or a property inside a companion object, you can achieve lazy initialization and ensure that the singleton instance is created only when it is first accessed. This is a concise and thread safe way to implement a singleton pattern in Kotlin.
Question 19. Dot can we use by lazy block to define singleton property? Answer. Yes. The by lazy delegate is commonly used to implement a lazy initialized singleton property in Kotlin. By combining the by lazy delegate with a top level property or a property inside a companion object, you can achieve lazy initialization and ensure that the singleton instance is created only when it is first accessed. This is a concise and thread safe way to implement a singleton pattern in Kotlin. Question 20. What are Kotlin scope functions? Answer. Kotlin provides a set of scope functions, which are functions that define a scope for the execution of a block of code. These scope functions allow concise and expressive ways to perform operations on objects, apply transformations, and handle nullable values. The five main scope functions in Kotlin are let run with apply and also That's all for this video. In this video we cover top 20 beginner level questions and in the next video of this series we cover some intermediate and advanced level questions. So stay tuned for next video of this series, we will upload it soon. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified about the new videos. Thanks for watching.